Thanks for tuning in to this episode of healthcare.gov How To. My name is Janine Scholander and I am joined by Amy Coben. We are outreach and education coordinators for the Oregon Health Insurance Marketplace. Our primary goal is to help Oregonians find their best affordable health insurance option and take advantage of all the great included benefits. Today we will be talking about healthcare.gov application process. To start an application, first point your browser to healthcare.gov and log in. Remember that your username is your email address and your password is case sensitive. Once you've logged in, you'll see an account dashboard. This is what the dashboard will look like. We've redacted the account user's name and personal information from this presentation for security. Click the green button to start a new application. The next step is to verify your identity and contact information. Fill in the fields, being mindful to follow the formatting requirements, and click Continue. Next, the system will use information gathered from experience to verify your identity. Select the best answer to each question. After you click Continue, the system will compare your answers to information in your Experian credit file to verify that you are who you say you are. The next screen will show whether the system was able to verify your information. In this case, there were no issues. However, if the system is unable to verify your information, this page will provide detailed instructions on how to resolve the issue and move forward. After you've been verified, you must accept the privacy use terms and move forward. Make sure you read all of the fine print so you understand how your information is used. On the following page, you will answer some general eligibility questions. These questions will determine whether you'll be asked to complete an application for a single person, a couple, or a family. The questions on the application will be tailored to your family situation. In this case, the applicant is single with no tax dependents, so the application will leave out any questions about a spouse and children. The system will then ask some general questions to further tailor the application to you. This is intended to shorten the length of the application and focus on relevant eligibility criteria. The next page will ask you to verify your contact information and ensure you've provided all relevant information. Most of this information will be completed when you get to this screen. Fill in any missing information and click Continue. Next, you'll be asked for income and deduction information. When you click Add New Source of Income, the system will provide options for the type of income that you should pro be providing. The same is true for deductions. When you add income and deductions, you'll also be asked what the frequency is that you are paid or pay. The last question on the screen asks you to verify your estimated yearly income. Keep in mind that you are guesstimating for the current year or what will be on your next year's taxes. If you started a new job or got laid off, you may need to select no for this question and adjust as necessary. The next few questions will help determine if you may be eligible for special programs within the Oregon Health Plan. For example, if your income is below the limit for the Oregon Health Plan, the system will send your information to the state where your application will be assessed for the Oregon Health Plan program. Some of these programs will help more specifically with people who have a physical disability and with retroactively covering outstanding medical bills. The system will ask about any current coverage that you are enrolled in or offered. Make sure to report coverage such as Medicare, Medicaid or Oregon Health Plan, employer coverage, and VA coverage. If you have access to other coverage, the application will have you elaborate on the type of coverage and additional questions to determine affordability. The application will also ask whether you have been found ineligible for the Oregon Health Plan which is Medicaid, in the last 90 days. If you have, the system will not send your application to the state for processing if you appear to be under the income limits for the program. Some examples may be if you have lawful permanent resident status but have not had that status for five years or if you're a member of the COPA community. The application will ask if you would like the marketplace to have access to your information to auto-renew your coverage and assistance in future years. If you grant this access, the system will use the information that is present in the system during open enrollment as well as other verifying information to determine eligibility for financial assistance and coverage through the marketplace. 
If you do not grant this access, you will need to ensure you log in each year to reapply for assistance and re-enroll re into a new plan for the next year. The application also must verify that you have reconciled any tax credits that you have received in previous years. Select yes if you have done this or if you have not had the need to. The last step is to verify that your application information is correct. Agree to the terms and then electronically sign and submit the application for processing. If you see any errors, select edit and the application will jump back to that section. After you submit your application, your eligibility determination will be ran through the system and appear on a results screen. Here you can find your eligibility for tax credits, including how much you are found eligible for, cost sharing reductions, and a notice if you must submit verifying documentation. You must open your eligibility notice in order to continue to enrollment. When you click view eligibility notice, a separate window will open with a PDF of your notice. Read this carefully to understand what you qualify for. The notice will be a multi-page document that outlines your eligibility results, any next steps, verification documents that must be submitted, what steps you can take if you disagree with your eligibility results, and pertinent contact information. It is essential to read through this document to ensure that you do not miss any timelines to submit documentation. If you do, your plan could be canceled or you may lose financial assistance. We recommend printing this notice for your record. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it clears up your questions about the healthcare.gov application process. Visit our YouTube channel for more helpful videos and check out OregonHealthcare.gov for more information.